Hey everybody. Well, today I wanted to take a minute and show you why you have to manage the cuts, like the hinge cuts, the clear cuts, the logging areas um, that you do on in your timber. Because I want to show you what can happen if you don't manage it. So this area was cut, I think, three years ago, two or three winters ago, and there's been no management since the cutting was done. So it was a hinge cut area, some clear cut, just a bunch of junk timber. The trees were really good for hinge cutting. So the cut was done, but then there's been zero management since then. And this is what happened. And this doesn't always happen, but there clearly was buckthorn seed in the soil here. And this is what happened in this one. So look at this. It turned into an absolute monoculture of buckthorn. Like this is awful, terrible. This is not what you want. I mean, look at this. It was an explosion of buckthorn in this hinge cut. And where the buckthorn's not at, that's just a ton of cockleburs and other just not deer friendly plants. So anytime, I mean, you can see the big hole. I'm not even gonna walk through all that. I'm just gonna be covering cockleburs. But anytime you break open the canopy, be it logging, um, if you're doing hinge cuts yourself, if you're doing just clear cuts because you don't like hinge cutting or they're not the right trees for hinge cutting, there's the risk that the seed that sat um, dormant in the soil, I mean, that's, that's what's going to happen. The seed's going to take off. But there's a risk that there's invasives that'll take off um, that have been sitting there just waiting for sunlight. And clearly, in this hinge cut, Buckthorn was sitting just waiting to take off and it exploded. So this is why you don't just, you know, guys will cut an area and then they'll just leave it a sanctuary. They'll not go back in it. No, you you have to at least check it once a year um, because, you know, you could have a bunch of downed tr trees from a storm or something that block trails on the hinge cut so deer don't even want to use it because it, they can't move around in it. Um, or you might have like just invasives that come in and this is our primary invasive here in minnesota is or at least in this area of minnesota i think further south you can start dealing with bush honeysuckle this is kind of the primary woody invasive we deal with is buckthorn and it just took off like this is super sad you do not want this on your property so anytime you break open the canopy logging clear cuts hinge cuts whatever Get back in there that summer, see what's coming back, make sure they're deer-friendly species. If they're not, kill what isn't good for deer. Leave the natives that are good, and you will have an awesome bedding area. But this is junk. This is not a good bedding area. It's complete garbage. All right. You all take care. God bless. Oh, I also wanted to add... Before you cut, if you see invasives are present, make sure you manage them and deal with them because it's going to help for when you do cut. Um, you, if you see any type of buckthorn or bush honeysuckle or autumn olive, multifloros, whatever, deal with that first before you cut. I just want to show so there's the, back in there is where all the buckthorn is. You can see it creeping out. All that green there is buckthorn. This is what we wanted. Like in this area, see this is a hinge cut, uh, uh looks like an ash yep hinge cut ash tree you can see all the sprouts coming off it here's where the native woody browse actually is present and it's getting browsed on fairly heavily that's basswood but the buckthorn hasn't got to this spot yet so the deer have taken notice oh never mind there's buckthorn right there but they've taken notice and this is where they're actually browsing if you look at all these basswood stump sprouts back here they're getting hit real hard by deer browse but the buckthorn is coming so this area is going to get taken over by buckthorn eventually too so now because it wasn't managed before the cut now it's a big headache um, 
to deal with after cutting. So manage before if possible and manage after as well. All right, now y'all take care. God bless.